Hey guys, today it's time I extend my a um cringing at Levi Bryant series, and instead of talking about Levi Bryant, let's talk about his fan tards. Now, if you don't know what fan tard is, it's basically a person who's into a who's a idiot fan, say a Jacksepticeye fan tard. Now, Levi Bryant's fan tards are probably the worst fans I ever had to see. The reason why is because they disrespect people's opinions on Levi. I swear, if you hate Levi, they'll go into your channel and start sending you a bunch of hate and not respecting your opinions. Many people only do this because, of course, they don't want people. They don't want, um, they're like Caillou fanboys, basically. Now, I'm doing this on scripted, which is why you hear me thud a little bit. So, um, what about Levi Bryant, Fantard? Well, if you go to one of Levi's videos that look cute, kind of, then, um, try and look at the comments. Almost every single comment is some random Joe Schmo saying that it's cute. It's not cute. It's not cute at all, and yet you find it good. It just doesn't make sense to me. There's this guy I like called 261 Productions 261, and he hates Levi, same with me. And he's make, he already made his full series about looking at Levi Bryant. He done season one already. Check him, him out if you're hyped for season two. And just ignore the fact that I'm using Among Us gameplay, even though I hate Among Us. I'm only doing it for the whole joke. So, back to Levi's fan tards. If you go to one of 261 Production 261's videos, you'll actually see that they're filled with Levi Bryant fans telling him to, telling him to stop. And what's funny is that Levi is 16 years old and 261 Productions is 14. So, a person who is two years younger than a, a 16 year old man can somehow get away with insulting him. What a world we live in. Levi Bryant's fans are probably like nine or something. Because they. There is no way you can find everything cute. I've seen a bunch of videos that were made by Levi that are filled with people saying, Oh, it's cute! Don't disrespect our opinion! Well, why are they telling us to not disrespect their opinion when they're disrespecting the opinions of Levi Bryant haters? That makes no sense to me, in my opinion. Back to some good old Levi Bryant fan cards. They'll usually say some pretty nasty thing about 261 Productions, 261. And what's funny is that nearly a week ago, Levi himself made a video about telling his fans to go out to 261 Productions 261, dislike his videos, and send him a bunch of hate. Even when effort is put into the video, all they care about is their favorite YouTuber getting insulted. And then they send hate. And also, if any Levi Bryant fan tart is watching this, Please respect my opinion instead of going, Oh, don't you do it, Levi, you jerkies. Well, it's my opinion. And if you disrespect my opinion, then you'll be bought. I was planning on talking about Bubbles Utonia and Blocks and Max Bubbles forever. But I'll save that for episode 5. Levi Bryant's fan tards are just stupid idiots who only care about Levi and send hate to any haters of him. Even Levi himself can be counted as a fan tard, even though he's the creator of these videos. Because he also sends hate to 261 Productions, 261, as well as my channel. It even got to the point where in the in episode 10 part 1, there was like this whole fight that was over 130 comments long. Where Levi was just attacking many people. Which kind of makes no sense to me. You know what I mean? Also, I love how everyone thinks that they're cool on his channel by saying so cute. You think Baby Bubbles is cute. Inflation videos are cute. Two females being shipped is cute. 
What is wrong with ye? Fuck. Like, I don't understand why people are somehow getting away with this and then they're like, and then Levi's like, Oh, stop it, you stupid circus. I had enough. <laughs>